The easy thing about customising games in RPG Maker is that there are downloadable plugins which are, for the most part, plug and play. If you've found a plugin that you want to use, make sure it's in a .js format and save it into your project's JS plugins folder. Anything in this folder will be automatically detected by the project's plugin manager, which you can find on RPG Maker's top bar by clicking the puzzle piece icon. Add a plugin by either double clicking the bottom of the list, or you can right click a blank entry and click edit. To select which plugin you'd like to add, click the name section in the top left and select the plugin from the list. A lot of the plugins that come with the default MZ projects will be plug and play, with no special plugin parameters. Click OK to add the plugin to the list, then click OK on the plugin manager and your plugin is successfully added. Some plugins will come with special parameters that can be set up when you're adding or editing the plugin. For example, the majority of Visuseller's plugins will come with these parameters that can be edited. To edit these, double click the parameter and change the values to suit your needs. Some may be numerical values, some may have a boolean true or false option, or some may offer a drop down menu with multiple options. Some plugins may make use of plugin commands as well. Once the plugin is installed, check page 3 of the event commands and find plugin command at the bottom right. Select your plugin from the list and select the command you want to use. These will function like regular event commands that will be read in the order of the events. Some plugins will also make use of note tags for maps, events, and database items. You should check the instructions that come with the plugin to find out how to add these. An important thing to note is that if you've added a new version of a plugin to your project's folder, you need to refresh it in the plugin manager. You can do this by right clicking the plugin and clicking refresh. Thank you for watching.